we did a three-year study where we followed a group of kids from the end of second grade to the end of fifth grade. And about half of those kids had teachers who were trained in approach called responsive classroom. Um, responsive classroom teaches a set of practices that are designed to create a really positive classroom community. The practices focus on improving the relationships between teachers and kids and among children. Uh, the practices are designed to teach children self-control and autonomous behavior and to give kids a set of skills that really help them take charge of their own learning. And so what we learned is after children had received those practices after three years, that they actually showed improvements in their math and reading scores at the end of three years. The actual strategies that the teachers are taught aren't focused on math content or reading content. The strategies are more focused on managing the classroom effectively and creating a positive climate and teaching children social and emotional skills. So it's really exciting to see that some of that instruction is actually translating into teachers being more effective at um, teaching academic content as well. We put a lot of emphasis now on kids' academic learning and we're thinking a lot about what test scores are kids getting. And it's a lot, fo it's, it's a lot of focus on the end goal. And um, there are specific strategies we can use with kids in classroom that really fully acknowledge who the kids are and what kids love to do that are really more focused on creating a really good process of learning. We need to be saying, well, what are the full repertoire of skills that we want kids to be learning in school? And when we imagine that elementary school kids are going to be in the workforce in 15 or 20 years, we need to think about what they're going to need to be able to do. Some of what they're going to need to be able to do is they're going to need to be able to get along with people and work with people, even people they don't like. They're going to need to be able to organize a task and figure out what to work on first, what to work on second, what to, what to work on third. Um, they're going to need to be um, um, demonstrate their own self-control and they're going to need to learn how to be reflective about their learning. They're going to need to know how to um, manage their own emotions when they're in situations that are really challenging. And um, it appears that teaching these skills early in elementary school can actually have some important implications not only for the development of those skills but also for their academic learning in elementary school years.